Yes, the April they? showers were supposed to bring <laughs> May flowers, not more May showers, but yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, we can only hope, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe uh, June flowers or Maybe. something like that. But I mean, it's raining. You were certainly right about that, Tori, and we still have those showers in the region. And this is going to be the case here, folks, for the next several hours. Here's a look at your temps. We are at 67 in Henderson. We're at 64 in Nacogdoches. Lufkin's at 66. Crockett's at 68. It's 64 in Athens. So the common theme is we've got rain cooled air. So these temperatures have been pretty pleasant to be out and about in. We're just dealing with the heavy showers and thunderstorms for some parts of the area. Now, as we look at these rainfall totals, we showed you this at the top of the show. They're pretty impressive with what we have seen. Only about an inch along into the north of Interstate 20. Again, these are radar estimates, so they're the uh, they're not the exact rainfall totals that we are seeing, not from the rain gauges. These are just estimations, but we have seen quite a bit of rain across deep east Texas, anywhere from about three to five inches from portions of eastern Houston, Trinity, all of Angelina, southern Nacogdoches, and central and southern San Augustine counties. Now, as we look at live Viper radar, I am still tracking a few showers and thunderstorms, but folks, with temperatures in the 60s, the atmosphere is pretty worked over, so our severe weather threat for the remainder of the afternoon and evening, I think it's going to be pretty low, but nonetheless, still some pretty stout thunderstorms through Cherokee County from Rusk up to Gallatin and just to the east of Jacksonville. That's where we're seeing a pretty heavy band of rain. Now, as we look further to the south and to the southeast, we're, it's raining pretty good right now in Angelina County, especially from Lufkin pointing off to the east. We have another cell that just passed to the south of Apple Springs. So we've got more moderate to heavy rain entering the Lufkin region. Now the flood watch because of all this rain goes until seven o'clock Tuesday, but I think Tuesday and Wednesday will get a break. But the big question mark right now is if we will see severe weather and how that will impact our rain. So let's go ahead and show you future cast by midnight tonight. I think most of the rain comes to an end. The showers are in the process of breaking apart, so they should come to an end by midnight and and then we'll start to re-energize the atmosphere for tomorrow. And temperatures, they're going to stay about the same tomorrow morning. We'll be 67, 68 degrees, but those temperatures will eventually make their move back up into the 70s and 80s by tomorrow afternoon. Partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day tomorrow, but we could see a couple rounds of showers and thunderstorms. The first one could arrive by about noontime. You can see a few storms to our south and to our north. That's at 1 o'clock, and then as we move move towards four and five. We see a little lull, but late in the day tomorrow and tomorrow evening, we could see another area of showers and thunderstorms pushing through along a front, and that will give us another chance of showers and thunderstorms. So as it stands right now, this is a slight risk of severe weather for all of East Texas. The individual threats that we will have to watch out for it's May. We see some hail storms in May. Hail is going to be a main threat for tomorrow. Now, as we look at the wind threat, the similar situation. We tend to get these downburst winds in the month of May and the month of June, and it's setting up to be one of those days. Now, the tornado threat, it's possible, but it's pretty unlikely, and I think the best chance of a tornado would be to our southeast. But nonetheless, this is something we'll have to watch out for because it is a 5% chance that somewhere in the brown that I just showed you that a tornado would occur. But here's a look at the next seven days. We've got temperatures in the 80s Monday and Tuesday, a few showers and thunderstorms around Wednesday and Thursday, high temperatures in the 80s with perhaps a few isolated showers as we move towards your Saturday. Tori. Thank you, Carson. Ryan Murphy.